So we're going to do another review this week and uh, we are going to tackle the ham study signal stick. So why do I say ham study signal stick? That's because this signal stick or the super elastic signal stick is used to fund hamstudy.org which is a uh, website used to help people study for their ham exam and was actually the website that I use personally to get my technician license. So the actual company by um, that, that makes these, they go buy signal stuff and I'll make sure to put a URL uh, to take you to their website. So let's go ahead and get into it. This isn't gonna be a video about all the specs of the signal stick. This is gonna be uh, about my time using it and what I found out about it, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. So this particular antenna is praised in the ham radio community. And I think a lot of it really has to do with it funding hamstudy.org, which is a great website. So they do do a lot of good stuff and uh, they're really beginner friendly. So I do praise them on that. But let's get into the antenna. So what we have here is a one fourth wave, uh, dual band, two meter, 70 centimeter um, antenna. So what sets this thing apart is that it is made out of a metal called nitinol, 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 one of those two. But basically, it's super elastic, so it retains its uh, shape no matter how you bend it. So that has its pros. Um, so basically, however you bend this thing, no matter how you bend it, it's always going to come right back into shape. That means I can take the thing and I can twist it into a pretzel and I can leave it like this for days, maybe weeks. And as soon as I untangle it, the thing snaps back into shape. So that is the pro of this thing. No matter how you bend it, and typically what I've seen is the people kind of bend it like this and you can keep it like that. So I'll mention now, these antennas come with a lifetime warranty, which is really cool. Uh, they really stand by their products. So I really like that. If they ever do break, which it's very hard to break one of these, uh, the weak point is actually at the connector itself. Uh, if you do break one of these, they will replace it for you for free. And as I understand, uh, they will give you free return labels uh, for shipping if you live in the United States. So that's really cool of them. They're really confident in the product, uh, if that says anything. So they do make a 220 uh, megahertz, one fourth wave antenna on the website that you can buy. And these connectors actually come in different, uh, different types. So, well actually they all come in BNC but you can buy additional uh, adapters on their website. Uh, for example, I bought the BNC to SMA. I'm sorry, they do come in different types of connectors. I bought the BNC connector, but I have the SMA adapter so I can attach it to my FT2D. So one thing that these antennas feature is a glow-in-the-dark tip, and that's something I actually didn't know. I thought that was, this was just a protective thing at the end uh, until I started doing a little bit more research, but that is a glow and dark tip. So if it's nighttime, you won't stab your eye out. So yeah, let's go ahead and hook this thing up to a antenna analyzer. And although it won't be super accurate because it is a half dipole, um, we'll see what the antenna analyzer says about the antenna. So it looks like we're reading a one to 10 SWR on 145. So that's not bad at all considering the circumstances in which I'm measuring this thing. And let's move up to 440 and see what it looks like up there. 440, it looks like I'm measuring about a 1.25 SWR, so not bad. Looks like it's, it's tuned pretty well, um, especially considering the way I'm measuring it. I know this isn't accurate whatsoever, and it's actually gonna change as I uh, move it vertically but that'll do for a quick reference just to see what it looks like so this is what the antenna looks like on the radio this is my FT uh, 3d so it looks pretty nice and you can even take it and still lap it around while it's on the radio and this is where I'm gonna get to the nuances of the antenna so on the radio this is what it looks like when it's curved up so what are the pros of this antenna? Well, it's very portable. 
considering you can just literally um, hold the antenna up and you don't have to have it straight out all the time in itself is a very nice feature to have you can just coil it up here throw it in a case somewhere and it doesn't take up too much room so that is the biggest pro of this antenna so the cons of the antenna and this is where I might get a little hate because these things are loved so much I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about them but I'm just this is my honest review so I'm gonna say exactly my experience when it's connected to the radio uh, the way that this metal is weighted and the way it flops around I feel like it adds a bit of weight and stress to the antenna port it is very light but uh, compared to my Nagoya um, it does add considerable weight uh, back and forth if you get to moving around with this thing uh, and you have the antenna on another thing is if you have your radio strap your back and you're trying to walk if it's completely deployed out it's with my setup it's not very uh, usable uh, it just flops around way too much I can't be walking around outside and just the, the, the littlest uh, movement around just kind of makes the thing fly back and forth all over the place so in that circumstance uh, I have to have the antenna I have to have the antenna folded up if I'm walking around um, yeah, it's, it's just very hard to have it clipped to a belt or something with the antenna deployed. This is an antenna really made for packing away somewhere. If you're going to do soda, something like that, you can throw it in a case. And once you get to the top of the summit you're at, you undo it, hook it on. And once you're at, uh, once you're at your location, you're good to go. So that is one con that I have had with this antenna. And I didn't want to, I wanted to go in this completely honest. Uh, it's not a very good strap it on your radio and then go you know hiking while it's on unless it's uh, wrapped up because it will flop around it does add some stress to the antenna port if you're just looking for something that you can pack away take somewhere and then deploy out this thing is awesome it's a really great antenna and uh, when it comes to receiving and transmitting I do find it's about the same as a uh, like a commercially made uh, one fourth wave antenna it performs about the same so there's yeah, it's hard to measure. It's very hard to measure, but from experience, when I'm using it, uh, it seems to receive about the same and transmit about the same. So the big perk with this antenna is you can pack it away. Uh, it does look very aesthetically pleasing, honestly. Uh, the way that you can just wrap it up like this, it looks really nice when you just need to set it on your desk. And you can still receive pretty well with the antenna wrapped up like this. And um, I found that you can transmit as well. Uh, I know the uh, the end. <clears throat> the resonance or the SWR won't be as good. The SWR won't be as good if it's wrapped up like this. But if you're just hitting a repeater, like a local repeater, uh, you can still use the the um, the radio with the antenna like this, and you should be fine. Overall, it's a great antenna. I love what Ham Study does. Uh, they're an awesome group of people, and uh, I really support them. And I'm glad that they have a product like this with a awesome lifetime warranty that they can back and have that to support their website so I really recommend if you uh, if you're looking for a one wharf if you're looking for a one-fourth wavelength antenna go uh, go check them out they make a really good antenna and if you're doing soda or hiking or something like that this is a really great antenna to just pack way and get out when you're at the top of the summit and uh, try to make some contacts or if you're not very mobile um, this right here is also a great antenna to slap on there and especially if you travel and uh, that's pretty much it for my review I hope everyone enjoyed this and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you rate and comment um, and there's gonna be more reviews on the way if you're watching this and you're new please make sure that you hit the subscribe button below I try to do very good quality uh, reviews of the products that I get and they're honest and they're to the point so hit that subscribe button below uh, for more content